Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pro Am Outdoors. A few weeks ago, I wanted to try something and see if I can do it. Very hard to do, but wind up learning that it's very easy. I learned how to hand pour lures using plastic, but something unique. I wanted to see if I could triple layer a lure, but it's very small. I learned how to hand pour crappie minnows. So I'm going to show you how today. So to make these amazing little crappie minnows, you're going to need to make you a mold. And how I do that is this really cool stuff by Smooth On. It is a two-part liquid rubber. It's Umu silicone rubber. It's made for pouring and casting and stuff. So I learned how to do this by just watching this really cool channel called uh, The World's Worst Fishing Show. But he actually pours lures and he pours swim baits and I'm thinking why can't I downsize that to a crappie minnow and hand pour that myself and I decided to do that and I come up with a really unique way of doing it and I'm gonna give you a little montage on building this right here which is a really cool little DIY um, minnow mold okay so we'll get started what I love to doing is I have thousands thousands this is just one box of crappie minnows and I love these now this one here is by Dead River Bait Company that is the unicorn color really like that one a lot we're actually going to take this and we're going to use it as a base to our mold and I'm going to show you how I do that what we're going to do is take this and we're going to actually cut up some cardboard we're going to take that cardboard and we're going to make a frame for it then we're going to take a little bit of super glue and glue this lure down so i want to match and design from that one type of lure there that that little crappie minnow and it's called the unicorn color but it doesn't matter it's the shape that i'm going after once we glue that down and we're going to build up some sides on it then i'm going to take some hot glue i'm going to run around it and make a little bucket looking little um, mold deal then what we're going to do is take our two-part epoxy or not epoxy but our two-part mold making material and then we're going to take that and then we're going to mix it up in these cups and we're going to stir it for about three to four minutes and then what we're going to do is pour it up real slow and we're going to build it up until it goes above now you want to pour slow so you don't get the air bubbles in it we're going to pour it up right here to where it's real nice and slow just above it now we're going to set this to the side and let it sit for four to six hours now that we come back after four to six hours we're going to take this mold apart and then we're going to take it over here to the kitchen area and then we're going to set up and we're going to pour you a couple of uh, little jigs and see how you like them okay so there's a couple of things you're going to need once you get your mold made up you're going to need a couple of tools one thing is i go to walmart and i found these one cup works really well one cup little pyrex uh pouring glasses because they got the spout makes it pour really easy i bought three of them they're like two to three dollars a piece not very expensive you're going to need a couple of butter knives and what you're also going to need you're going to need some uh just some lures that's already made up i like swim baits a lot better and uh yum seems to melt very well because what we're going to do is melt these into the cup in a microwave and then we're going to hand pour this i really don't like this but i love the color this melts at a different temperature than this does i just went into walmart and i looked at their discount bin they have a whole big old box just full of uh lures at discount price i think i paid two dollars a piece for this and let me tell you these things will make hundreds of minnows two dollars a piece or go to your old tax box find what some colors that you like and get ready to start doing and melt them down but literally this is all you need to start hand pouring your own poppy minnow jigs and this is all you do right here you take it you take this stuff and you just start cutting it up with a pair of scissors inside like this you 
And there's, if you want chartreuse and white, which is one of my favorite colors. Now you take that and then you take your pearl. Once again, start just chopping it up. You want to put it in your cup. And like I said, I found these uh, for $2 a, a bag, but one bag of lures can just, I don't know how many it could do, but it melts really good in there. But it could do, it could do a quite a bit. So this pearl color works really well. Some of the cheaper brands actually do not do very well uh, because they got the color on the outside, not the color all the way through like this does, has the color all the way has to color all the way through the whole entire deal here so we're going to uh, get this and we're going to melt these down so we're going to go ahead and take these and put them into the microwave right now and we're going to go ahead and put them up in here and put these two here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this on three minutes power off set this for three minutes and hit start and now we're going to go ahead and start letting that melt Okay, so it's about to stop. There it goes. And we're going to go have to take them out. Now, you need something that's going to be heat resistant because this is going to be extremely hot. We're going to go ahead and take these out right now. And we'll put them down here. Now, one of the reasons that you want a butter knife so that you can stir up so you can get that pearl stuff going pretty good. And then just lay it to the side. You got to work pretty quick. This is the chartreuse. We want to get that pepper going really good in it. And then we're going to go ahead and pour this up. But make sure you wear, you get some safety here. That's what I'm using this for. So we're going to go ahead and pour this one up. We're going to put some pearl in the bottom. And then I'm going to just lightly walk it up through here. And what I want to do is tilt it just a little bit to get it towards the front a little bit. Then we're going to take the chartreuse. And then we're going to pour it right on top just a little bit. Kind of ran out of there, but what we're going to do is fill it up right there. Then we'll go out to the side a little bit. Now, what you want to do is that you can go ahead and put this back in the microwave for 30 seconds and in 30 seconds you can take that out and then you can make another one okay so this has been sitting about 30 seconds or so you can do it i like sitting about a minute it helps them set up you need a little bit of water and everything's tiny small here but we're going to take a little bit of this water what we're going to do is just peel it from the tail up be very careful just peel it from the tail up and put it directly into the water now you have a really cool looking bait and that'll cool it off and help it set up a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this and see how well we did. Yeah, that one turned out pretty good. I mean, that's got a really nice chartreuse top on it. Pearl bottom. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick there. Nice little crappie there. We'll put it back in the water and see how it is. We'll go ahead and take these other ones back out. Now we'll take another one and we'll go ahead and pour another one up with the white pearl. Sometimes you mess up, you might have to cut, cut the uh, tail off a little bit. Not as good as that last one, but I'll show you what we do. Take a little bit of that and then put it right on top. If it's messy, no problem. Because all you got to do is once it solidifies, you take your scissors and you cut off the top and it works really well. Okay, so we got, got it coming out of the microwave again. Go ahead and get this one out. What I'm going to do is try something a little bit different. I'm actually going to do chartreuse on the bottom and white on top. And see how that looks with the chartreuse tail. That might be pretty good there. So we're going to try that. This one's already ready to come out. So what I want to do is go ahead and get it out of here. And put it right there. And now we're going to go ahead and pour up uh, one with a chartreuse bottom and tail. And now we've got to get this and then we've got to mix it up a little bit more. Because it's starting to gel a little bit. Get that those peppers going good in it. That's why it's chartreuse and pepper. Stir up the white pearl a little bit 
and let's try making one that's with the chartreuse on bottle. I think that was going to turn out really, really well there. It looks good to me. Take that off. Work to the end a little bit. Now let's take the... You have to do it quick so they kind of meld together. That's what you want. You want to melt them together. With the white top. You can change it up however you want to do it. And that's what what's, what's the beauty of making them yourself. You can change anything that you want to do, mix different colors, and you got some really cool crappie jigs. If you look right here, I've got a lot of different color crappie jigs. This one here I did with the pink. And uh, so this is like an electric chicken, but it's a lot hotter than one you can buy in the store. I've got one here that's a triple color. That's really hard to make with a pink on the bottom. Then it's chartreuse, if you can see through a little bit, it's got the chartreuse in the middle and top. And that one's pretty cool there. Probably show you how to do so. Oh, I love this one. That's a good smoke, smoke color right there. Man, that's nice. I uh, got another one that's the pink. I like it a lot. I got a couple of different colors here. I got some that are like uh, glass minnows with a white bottom but you can see through them get that hair off of there but you can see through them kind of like a glass minnow with a white belly like you see on a natural fish and i've got a few of them here that are just different and i got some that are making that's a kind of a smoke shad color with a pearl translucent bottom that's a pearl translucent with the top here and that's going to be a good one there so making quite a bit of them and we're going to go ahead and pull this one out and drop it in the water let it cool off a little bit so what i want to do is go ahead and show you how i actually cut all this mess off right here what you want to do is just take a pair of scissors if you overspill it you just trim it up. That's all you do. And boom. Now look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely a beautiful jig. Still could trim it a little bit more. There we go. Now, and these are hand poured. You can do any color that you want. Man, it makes it really, really nice. Get your own hand poured crappie jigs. just by pouring them up yourself using this type of mold well i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to have a lot more colors coming out i'm going to show you some more that i made but just a little quick video on how you can make your own crappie minnow jigs by just pouring up this little simple mold you can make multiple ones where you can have five or six i would do no more than three to five actually because that uh worm material that you're heating up in the microwave it will start solidifying real fast so you got to pour it extremely fast if you're doing multiple colors they need both need to be hot so they blend together real well and stick now you can make a lot but i'll tell you what you just can't beat that that is beautiful anybody would love to go crappie fishing with that right there that is beautiful right there so doing this right here is amazing i love it i hope you enjoyed this little short video remember hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and the reason is because I need your help and because I got more DIYs, little projects like this, got more fishing content coming out because I like to do crappie fishing and bass fishing. So they're whatever in, in a kayak and sometimes on a boat. But, you know, you really need to subscribe to the channel so you can see more of this great content coming out. Remember, keep your line wet, your hook sharp. We'll see you next time here on Pro-Am Outdoors.